Welcome to Lions Park as we are bringing you Tanager Softball brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. I'm Michael Schumacher and this is Tanager Softball on Vermilion Streaming. As you can hear, there is plenty of wind today as the Tanagers look to take on the Tri-Valley Mustangs. Now the Tanager baseball team was set to take on Tri-Valley in baseball yesterday. Uh, the field conditions were not good enough at the ball field to uh, to play. I have not heard of a rescheduled time as of yet. But uh, we do have some news on the DAC-12 conference tournament that is taking place on Monday in Sioux Falls at the Sanford Sports Complex. And Vermilion will be playing uh, Canton at 9 o'clock on Field 10. And then the winner of that game will then go on to play at 11 against T area, and then so on and so forth. Uh, and so we will bring you, as long as the Tanagers keep winning, we will be broadcasting from Sanford Sports Complex. So that will be Monday morning, uh, but of course we first have this game. Vermillion did end up with uh, the sixth highest seed points in the DAC-12, and so that is why they are playing at the 9 o'clock game. And man, I know this wind is something horrible. And unfortunately, there's just no way to get out of it. I'll turn my head a little bit here, but uh, we're in for a good matchup. Vermillion at 4-1 and one on the season. Uh, their one loss is to Del Rapids. And then this uh, Tri-Valley team, their two losses on the season are one is to Del Rapids, so they have that shared loss. And then Del Rapids, or Tri-Valley fell to uh, T earlier this year earlier this season. So those are the two losses. So just looking at the schedule for Tri-Valley, as that is always easier said than done with this kind of wind. Uh, their games against uh, Freeman and Madison and Dakota Valley to start the season were postponed due to weather. They then defeated Flandreau on April 4th, 17-2, and that was in Crooks, South Dakota. There, that was a home game. They then defeated Baltic 18-3 in another home game. They then fell to T-Area, who was 4-1 on the season, 18-7. And then they defeated McCook Central Montrose 16-0 on April 11th. And then the game against West Central was postponed on the 16th. And then on the 18th, they did defeat Del Rapids. So just yesterday was that... Yeah, just yesterday, defeated Del Rap or lost to Del Rapids, 15 to nothing, to give them their three and two record on the season. For the Tanagers, they opened their season with a 17 to five win over Lennox, a 20 to five win over Parkston. They fell to Del Rapids, 15 to five. They then defeated Canton, 17 to two, and that is uh, who they will be playing on Monday to open things up for that DAC 12 tournament. They then defeated Sioux Falls Christian. 12 to 3 on Monday in Sioux Falls at Sanford Sports Complex. That brings them to today where they are 4 and 1 to battle this Tri Valley team. Vermillion in their red uniforms, red jerseys, red pants with black numbers and letters with white trim. And then the Tanagers on the back is in a white lettering with black trim. So nice and classy looking uniforms. Tri Valley, very similar. They're in black. Black pants, black jerseys with white, with uh, white uh, lettering and numbers, and red stockings. Uh, the red uh, or the maroon colored stockings to match their te their team's uh, colors, their school's colors. So it's going to be a it's a nice looking matchup uniform wise. You'll see that on the stream, and hopefully we're able to oh, hear me. Uh, that wind is something fierce. I don't know. If cupping my hand like this helps, doesn't. Maybe it does, but that was actually the wind dying down. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more here at Lions Park in Vermilion, South Dakota, as the Vermilion Tanagers get set to take on the Tri Valley Mustangs in softball action this Friday afternoon. We'll be back with more on Vermilion Streaming on YouTube. Safe means you're sort of protecting yourself. <laughs> My mom and dad told me how to be safe. It's like super duper important. Hold a grown up's hand. Put a helmet on because you might hurt your head super duper bad. 
Protect their future by protecting yours with your local State Farm agent, Dick Sunday. Ready Mix and Equipment is your locally owned and operated Ready Mix company. The Oshkosh front discharge mixers allow for easy placement of concrete, and with the six wheel drive and low range transfer case, they're nearly unstoppable. More of a do it yourself fan? Midwest Ready Mix and Equipment is teaming up with Clark's Reynolds in Yankton, bringing you a wide range of hand tools, mini excavators, skid steers, aerial lift equipment, and more to get the job done. Choose Midwest Ready Mix and Equipment for all your concrete needs in Clark's Reynolds, your rental equipment headquarters. Blaine Olson, owner of Blaine's Body Shop in Vermilion. I grew up here, graduated here, and now have a business here. I'm proud to serve the community that has helped me live this dream. I have top-notch equipment, the latest in training, along with the worth ethic and the desire to serve you. Should you need repairs in the future, please remember Blaine's Body Shop across from Polaris on the Highway 50 bypass in Vermilion. Blaine's Body Shop. Blaine's Body Shop. Automotive Collision Repair. Now online at Blaine'sBodyShop.com. Need a new set of tires? Look to Carlson's Body Shop in Beersford. How about some accessories like WeatherTech floor mats, access roll-up truck covers, bed liners, remote car starters, and thousands of other products? Hey, you can look at everything at your convenience online, too, at carlsonsbodyshop.com. No wonder the song says... Bring it down to Carlson's Body Shop. Clay County Abstract and Title Company has a complex job that boils down to something very simple, helping you purchase your dream with confidence. When investing in a new home, a new site for your business, or piece of property, you want peace of mind that the property is truly yours. Clay County Abstract and Title Company has been doing just that since 1946. Clay County Abstract and Title Company, proud supporters of Vermilion Activities and proud to be a part of your dreams come true. Welcome back to Lions Park in Vermilion, South Dakota. My name is Michael Schumacher, the voice of the Tanagers, here on Vermilion Streaming on YouTube. Uh, we do want to go over the starting lineup for the Tri-Valley Mustangs. Leading off will be number... Whoop, Number 24, Cadence Davey. She is a freshman. She will be catching today for Tri-Valley. Batting second and playing second is number three, Sienna Bird. She is also a freshman. Batting third and playing short, number five, Emery Jones, another freshman for this Tri-Valley team. Batting cleanup, playing center field, number six, Reese Wilt, who is a senior. Pitching and batting fifth, number two, Elizabeth Davey. She is a junior. Batting sixth, the designated player, number 22, Reagan Pearson. Batting seventh, number 12, and playing third base, Keegan Cookta, and she is a junior. Batting eighth, playing first, number nine, junior Emery Pearson. And batting ninth, playing left field, number 13, Ava Christensen, a sophomore for this team. Now the right fielder fl slash flex player uh, for this squad. Ooh. Sorry, the wind got a hold of it there. Number 26, Danica Fluth, a sophomore for this Tri-Valley Mustangs team. So it's Davey, Bird, and Jones, Wilt, Davey, Pearson, Kukta, Pearson, and Christensen with Fluth playing right field and being the flex player for the Mustangs. We have not had a lineup yet for Vermillion. If it goes as it has been uh, when Daley Bard has been around, it's been Kristen Moser leading off, followed by Jenea Cleveland, Chandler Cleveland, Bailey Baylor, usually Mackenzie Richardson, uh, Daley batting seventh. Uh, you have Sienna Mount, usually in that seventh and eighth place, along with Maya Alverson. So haven't had that yet, uh, but I believe Maya is the pitcher of record today uh, for the Tanagers. So we'll be going over that. But I did want to mention that, uh, again, we do have the bracket for Monday's DAC 12 tournament. So I want to make sure I get that to you guys. Vermilion again playing in the 9 o'clock as the 6th seed.
So in the 9 o'clock games on Field 7, EPJ, the 8th seed will be playing Lennox. The 9th seed, Tri-Valley. The 7th seed will be playing Sioux Falls Christian, uh, the number 10 seed. And Vermillion, the 6th seed, will be playing number 11, Canton. So fields 7, 8, and 10. Then at 11 o'clock, Madison will take on the winner of EPJ and Lennox. West Central and Dakota Valley will battle on field 9. Field 8 will see Dell Rapids taking on Tri the winner of Tri-Valley and Sioux Falls Christian. And field 10 will see the uh, winner of Vermilion and Canton taking on T area. Now, the winner of T area and Vermilion slash Canton will take on the winner of Dell Rapids and Tri-Valley slash Sioux Falls Christian. The winner of West Central and Dakota Valley will take on the winner of Madison and versus EPJ slash Lennox at 1. And then at 3 o'clock, you'll have the championship game and uh, everything should be wrapped up by about 5 o'clock. So uh, just a nice little tournament. Should be a good time for everybody. And uh, we'll be there to bring you the coverage of Tanager softball as the long as the Tanagers keep winning. We'll keep bringing it to you from up there. Uh, so I hope they keep winning because uh, otherwise then I have to drive back. Well, you know, it just depends. Uh, you know, I might not drive back. I might try to have lunch with my daughter, you know, because she lives up there now, and I don't always get to see her. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works out. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I have to get figure out logistics with my shows and stuff like that. So but looking forward to it. The uh, If you haven't been to the Sanford Sports Complex, it's a beautiful facility uh, just up there on Monday. It was windy, actually even windier than this, if you can believe it. But a beautiful, beautiful facility. Looking forward to getting back up there. So when we come back, hopefully we'll be able to have the Tanager uh, lineups. We will also discuss uh, the standings around the state and not only Class A, but also Double A and uh, B. And we'll also talk about football if we have time. We The football schedules came out, and we'll talk about Tanager football as well. Well, we'll be back with more as we get ready to bring you Tanager softball here on Vermilion Streaming on YouTube. I'm Michael Schumacher, and this is Tanager softball brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. And we'll be back after these messages from our Vermilion Sportscasters. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new home for your family, you want to sell your existing home, or you're a student looking to rent an apartment, Dakota Realty and Property Management can fit your needs. Being locally owned and with over 150 years of combined experience, they are the experts at helping you find your new home. Go to Dakota Realty and Property Management because they like what they do. Dakota Realty is a proud supporter of Vermilion Athletics. Dakota Realty and Property Management, located at 125 East Cherry Street, Vermilion. Being the first bank in South Dakota was the easy part, earning the confidence of local farmers, helping families account for their dreams, and securing the future for countless businesses took us a little longer. We owe it to the hard workers, big dreamers, and forward thinkers out there. Thank you for making South Dakota a great place to call home. Digital Solutions started small, but now we're growing as FDS provides live streaming coverage for over 20 schools across three different states on our Fuller Digital Solutions YouTube channel. Subscribe to get notified when we go live for your school events. Big events are captured live, and your business can get noticed with advertising during our live streams. Local talent and camera operators are encouraged to contact us, too. For future employment, no experience necessary, we will train. For information about advertising or working with Fuller Digital Solutions, email us and follow us on Facebook. Interior technicians. I'm ready for my big roll, Jerry. What do you mean? You said I'd be in your next 30 commercials. Uh, no. I said Intech has over 30 years of commercial cleaning experience. You know, like offices, so they can ensure happy visitors and a healthy workforce. So the shoot's in an office? I can make that work. Oh my goodness. When you need it clean, call the Intech team.
Knutson Family Dentistry in Vermilion, they strive to provide the highest quality patient-centered dental care in a friendly, relaxing atmosphere. Knutson Family Dentistry works hard to provide the best cosmetic, general, and emergency dental treatment in the area. With over 50 years of combined dental experience, the latest dental technology, and a professional and compassionate staff, they're your top choice for dental care. Call for an appointment at 605-857-8008. Knutson Family Dentistry of Vermilion. Welcome back to Tanager Softball, brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. I'm Michael Schumacher. We are at Lions Park in Vermilion, South Dakota, as the Vermilion Tanagers get set to uh, take on the Tri Valley Mustangs. Uh, Tri Valley at three and two on the season. Uh, their two losses are to uh, T Area, who Vermilion has not played, but T Area did defeat Yankton. Uh, I believe shut them out, so T Area is a quality team. And then Del Rapids, who both of these teams have fallen to. So uh, should prove to be a really good matchup, a good test as we head into the Monday DAC 12 tournament that both of these teams will be participating in. Both teams are part of the 9 o'clock set of games. Tri-Valley playing Sioux Falls Christian at 9 o'clock on field 8. Uh, no, on 9, sorry. And Vermilion playing Canton on field 10. Uh, we will be covering the Tanagers while they are playing. And uh, did want to mention, uh, again, don't have a starting lineup yet, but usually it'll start off with uh, with Kristen Moser leading off. And Kristen is batting 417 on the season with a 650 on base percentage. Her OPS is 1233. Slugging 583, five hits, three singles, two doubles, seven RBI. She has scored 10 runs and walked eight times on the season. Usually batting second again is Jenea Cleveland, batting 667 on the year. Her on base percentage is 714, an 1848 OPS, an 1133 slugging with 10 hits, six of those singles, two doubles, one triple. One home run, nine RBI, 11 runs, and five walks. Chandler Cleveland batting 529, 524 on base percentage. Well, that doesn't track. Uh, 1289 OPS with a 765 slugging, nine hits, six singles, two doubles, one triple. 11 RBI and nine runs scored with two walks. You know, when I was talking about the lineup, I completely forgot about Madigan Wallen, one of my favorite players. She can, not too many can play catcher and shortstop. Uh, Madigan Wallen is batting 500, 632 on base percentage with a 1346 OPS. I realize I'm running out of time, so I'm going to just give a briefer look at the stats. Taylor Barda averaging, um, she has 10 official at bats, 13 plate appearances, batting 700, 7 hits, 7 singles. Slugging 700, OPS of 1469. Then you have Maya Halverson batting 308, 526 on base percentage, 1065 OPS. Bailey Baylor batting 188 by the 381 on base percentage, 631 OPS slugging. And then Sienna Mount 167 with a 375 on base percentage, 625 OPS. Mackenzie Richardson 167 batting average, 474 on base percentage, and an 807 OPS. Madden, Madeline Eisenbeis, uh, 500 on base percentage and a 500 OPS. So that's kind of look at your roster for these Vermilion Tanagers as we get ready to uh, bring you a Tanager softball. Heading into this uh, game against Tri Valley, as the wind just suddenly died down. Reminder that the Vermilion High School. Uh, Hall of Fame banquet is tomorrow night, I believe, at the Dakota Center, honoring the 98 Vermilion volleyball team, honoring Greg Erickson, as well as Vince Roach. And Vince Roach, we will be getting that interview that we did with him up on the uh, Vermilion streaming YouTube. Had a chance to talk with him and talk about his dad, Mike Roach, one of my favorite professors while I was at USD. I might not be in criminal justice anymore, but I still use uh, some of the uh, wise words that he offered. So uh, it's going to be fun tomorrow night to get a chance to meet uh, Vince. Uh, and it'd be hopefully, hopefully Dr. Roach will be there as well. It'd be great to see him again. A uh, man who was nothing but uh, compassionate uh, when I had his classes. So looking forward to that. Well, when, he, when we come back, we'll be bringing you some Tanager softball here on Vermilion Streaming on YouTube. Brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. I'm Michael Schumacher, and we'll be right back.
Eliminate the weight when your furnace and AC needs repair by joining Larry's Heating and Cooling Comfort Care and Elite Care Club. Larry's Comfort Care Club features seasonal maintenance discounts on service and no overtime charges. Larry's Elite Club includes seasonal maintenance, free parts, free labor, free service calls, and both mean you are in front of the line for service. Call Larry's Heating and Cooling and sign up for the Comfort Care or Elite Care Club. Larry's Heating and Cooling, Yankton and Vermillion. You are self-motivated, accountable, and eager to learn new skills. We'd love to talk to you about a rock star career. Masaba in Vermilion is hiring full and part-time manufacturing positions for the rock industry. Masaba provides comprehensive training in a clean, safe, and state-of-the-art facility. Masaba offers competitive wages, a fun and interesting work environment and culture. Join our team of rock stars. Visit masabainc.com to learn more. Maytag appreciates a compliment, but this Maytag washer isn't just eye candy. Wow. Inside, it's got the capacity and power to handle even the mightiest loads. I love this. Yeah, she's a beaut. It's a he. How do you know? Don't worry about it. Find Maytag products and the industry's best appliances at your local dealer. Murph's Appliance, downtown Vermilion. Your crew is craving Pizza Ranch. It's easy to order online at PizzaRanch.com. Online ordering makes it fast and easy to order craveable crispy ranch chicken or build your favorite pizza exactly how you like it. And now for even more convenience, place your favorite order with just one tap. So when you're craving pizza or the country's best chicken, go to PizzaRanch.com and start your order. For craveable food and convenient online ordering, there's so much to love at Pizza Ranch. For the Perks card from Pup and Pack, well, guess what? There's an addition, not just a card, it's an app. Pup and Pack Vermilion. Welcome back to Tanager Softball from Vermilion at Lions Park as we get ready to bring you Tanager Softball, and the first pitch is a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. So the count is 2 and 0 on Davey, the catcher. Ball's fouled off, makes the count 2 and 1. So we do have some defensive changes for Vermillion. We'll discuss those here. Cuz that pitch is a ball, 3 and 1. Bailey Baylor is at first. Madeline Eisenbeis is now catching. Madigan Wallen is in sh is at short. Chandler Cleveland at third. And that ball is lifted high into left field. Sienna Mount back, getting underneath it and making a nice catch for the first out of the inning. And as you can tell, Sienna Mount is in left field. Janea Cleveland in center. And then Taylor Barda in right. And I've been told she hasn't done a ton of time out in the outfield. So we will we will see how this goes. It's always an adventure sometimes. Here's the first pitch, and that is high to Bird, the second baseman. Makes the count 1 and 0. Oh. So it is Sienna Bird. I wasn't quite sure. S Y E N N A. That is laced down the first uh, third baseline. Just foul, but that will make the count 1 and 1. So one and one with one out. Nobody on here in the top half of the first inning. That ball is lifted down the third baseline, fouled by a few feet. Makes the count one and two. On deck is the shortstop, Jones. Emery Jones, so one and two with one down. Nobody on, second batter of the game. Here's the windup and the pitch. Inside, two and two. Let's 
So Sienna Bird stepping into the plate. That's lifted over to third, fielded by Chandler, over to Baylor for the second out of the inning. So two up, two down for Halverson. Swing and a miss from Emery Jones. That was a mighty swing, though. So here's the 0-1 pitch from Halverson. That's inside, one and one. As you can tell, the wind has picked back up, up and down, up and down. Swing and a miss, strike two, one and two. So Halverson looking for a one, two, three inning. So one ball, two strikes to Emery Jones with nobody on, two down here in the top half of the first. Swing and a miss, but a ball that gets past Eisenbeis and she will reach first base on the strikeout. And that's one of the things you notice um, when you have different players in different positions. You know, sometimes the uh, balls that maybe normally get fielded, it, it's just a feeling out process. But it's good to have players com comfortable in more than one position. And here is the first pitch to Wilt. The center fielder is a strike. 0-1. So now runner on first. 0-1 count, two down here in the top half of the first. Balls fielded over to Madigan. Wallen, Wallen, nice throw over to first for a 6-3 put out. So no runs, no hits, no errors. After half, with one left on base, after half an inning, it's Vermilion Zero, Tri-Valley Zero. We'll be back after these messages on Vermilion Streaming on YouTube. Welcome to Runnings in Vermilion. Shop their great lineup of clothes for women. Names like Ariat and Carhartt for men. Boots and shoes and kids clothing. Runnings has a large supply of animal food and accessories. Love the outdoors? See the selection of ammo, firearms and fishing equipment. For everything you need, walk through the doors at Runnings, your home, farm and outdoor store, Vermilion. Sherco in Vermilion is a full-service service center. Sherco LLC is an industry-leading supplier of tarp systems to the transportation industry and is located in Vermilion, South Dakota. Sherco Vermilion supports their customers in the agricultural, construction, waste, and flatbed market. Become a part of the Sherco team. Go to sure-co.com about us slash careers. Demand the best. Demand Sherco. Welcome back to Lions Park, where the Tanagers are heading into the bottom half of the first inning. The top half saw four batters come to uh, the plate. Uh, no runs, no hits, no errors. Leading off for Vermillion will be second baseman Kristen Moser. And they are facing uh, the pitcher for Tri-Valley, and that is Davey. Let me just double check first name, I apologize. Yes, Elizabeth Davey. Elizabeth Davey will be pitching. Again, Moser leading off. Here's the first pitch. That is low, 1-0. Swing and a miss, strike one, one and one. Let's go, Oops. So on deck is center fielder Janaea Cleveland. That pitch is high, one and two. Or, sorry, two and one. Jeez, I am getting all sorts of corn fuddled. Two one pitch, swing and a miss, two and two. So here's the 2-2 pitch to Kristen Moser. That is outside. 3-2, full count. Ready out 
Here's the windup and the payoff pitch. That is a little bit high. Moser will head down to first base with a walk. Again, brings up Jan Janea Cleveland. So runner on first, nobody down here in the bottom half of the first inning. Vermillion would love to get some points. Runs on the board here. Here's the windup in the pitch. And Moser on the dropped ball will make it down to second. And that's what that speed at the top of the lineup can do for you. So 1-0 count to Cleveland. Now with a runner on second. Nobody out. Here in the bottom half of the first inning. There's a bunt down between the pitcher and the third baseman, and you're going to have runners safe at first and third. Cleveland's, boy, I think Cleveland's speed, that was the perfect, perfect bunt put right between the pitcher and the third baseman. Nobody could get to it in time, and Cleveland's speed just paid off there. So now runners on the corners with nobody out. That brings up uh, third baseman Chandler, Cleveland. Wind up in the pitch. Oh, no! And Kristen Moser is caught off of third. Picked off there as Jenea makes it down to second. First pitch was a strike to Chandler. Oh, you can see the disappointment on Coach Budmeyer there. Second pitch to Chandler is a ball. One and one. Those are good learning moments, though. Wind up and the pitch. That's lifted into right center field, and that's going to drop. That's going to make it to the fence almost. Cleveland is rounding second. No, she's going to be safe at second on the RBI double. As Vermillion takes the lead. 1-0. All right, here On their second hit of the game. That brings up Maya Halverson, the pitcher, batting a little higher in the lineup than she has the rest of the season. That pitch is a ball. So Chandler Cleveland on second. One down here in the bottom half of the second. Swing and a miss. Strike one. There's the windup. And that one's lifted high in the right field. And that is over the head of the right fielder. That will make it to the fence. Halverson rounds first. Heading to second, Cleveland rounds third and is heading home. That is an RBI double for Halverson. As Vermillion now leads two to nothing on three hits. With just one down, so runner on second. That brings up Madigan Wallen, who's playing shortstop today. First pitch to Wallen is in for a strike. 0-1. Feels like we've lost our son just a little bit. Here's the windup by Davey. That's a little bit low. 1-1. One one. So one ball, one strike, one out, one on for Madigan Wallen here in the bottom half of the first inning. deck is Bailey Baylor. That's a little high. Two and one. Also a reminder, if you're interested, the Lusterville Athletic Association is having a uh, their stag dinner and fundraiser with their Chase the Ace, trying to raise funds to get in new lights at the ball field. I head in there after this game. Swing and a miss by Wallen. Makes it two and two. Oh, Matt's so would love to see you there as well. I think dinner is a breaded, breaded pork loin, 
Uh, something like that, and then you can draw for the ace. Here's the 2-2 pitch to Wallen. Swain missed it. It is dropped. They will throw it down to first as Halverson will advance to third. That's the second out of the inning. So now with two runs across, Vermillion now has two down for Bailey Baylor. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Baylor playing first base today. First base, Bailey Baylor. First pitch swung on a miss was a strike. And that one's lifted into left center field. And that's going to be caught out there for the third out. Well positioned out there, but in the inning, Vermillion scores two runs on three hits. There were no errors at the end of one inning. Vermillion leads two to nothing. We'll be back after these messages on Vermillion Streaming on YouTube. Visit our sleep experts at the Yankton Slumberland. With over 50 mattresses to choose from, we carry every price. Free financing options and the most trusted brands in the nation like Stearns & Foster, Sealy, and Tempur-Pedic. Snoring or lower back pain tormenting you? Seek relief with an adjustable power base. Fall asleep faster and cooler with our sheets and pillow selection. With a 120-night sleep trial, you can't make a mistake. See us today at the Yankton Slumberland, 2401 Broadway. Not just wood at the lumberyard. With a wide variety of quality building materials, the folks at the lumberyard can help you with all of your project needs. Whether it be paint, siding, cabinets, windows, or of course lumber, the lumberyard is ready to help. The best wood in the neighborhood at the lumberyard, 1000 West Cherry Street in Vermilion. Welcome back to Tandiger Softball from Lions Park. Here's the top of the second inning. First pitch from Maya Halverson to Elizabeth Davy. Is a ball one and zero? Be Elizabeth Davy or Izzy Davy, Reagan Pearson, and Keegan Cookta batting this inning for Tri Valley. Ball two, two and zero. So Davy, three and zero. One thing you don't want to do after you get a nice two run lead, you don't want to give it right back and. You Walking that first batter is just something you do not want to do. That is high and outside. A four-pitch walk from Halverson to Davey. That'll put a runner on first for Regan Pearson. Regan Pearson is the designated player, number 22. So the second base runner of the game for Tri-Valley. That ball's laced over to Wallen. Wallen picks it up and will get it over to first in time. Runner advanced to second. As Keegan Cookta, the third baseman, will come up with now one down, one on here in the top half of the second inning. First pitch to Cookta is a ball. 1 and 0. Oh. That one's lifted to center field. Janea Cleveland on her horse, and that will reach the fence. Cleveland reaches it. Throws into second. Moser turns around and safe at second, and the run will score, making it 2 to 1 on the double by Keegan Cookta. So the first hit by Tri-Valley leads to a run being scored. So now with the runner on second and one down, that ball gets past Eisenbeis. Cook will make it down to third. Inside, 2-0 to Pearson. 
Christensen on deck. Here in the top half of the second inning. Swing and miss, fouled off. Two and one. Here's the windup by Halverson and the pitch. Fall back, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. One down with a runner on third. Halverson looking to get that second out. Here's the windup and the pitch. That gets past Eisenbeis. Oh, are they going to get her in a rundown? Not able to. Three and two is the count. That is high. That will walk Pearson. So now runners on the corners. One with one down. As Ava Christensen, the sophomore, comes up. Ball is low, and uh, Pearson will make it down to second. So 1-0 and on Christensen on deck. Davey in the top of the order. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So 2-0 and is the count on Christensen. Eisenweiss having a little trouble keeping track of the ball on some of these lower pitches. That's in for a strike. Makes the count two and one. Swing and a miss. Nope, fouled up. Two and two. So two balls, two strikes, one down. Runners on second and third. Maya would love to get this second out. That ball is hit down third baseline. Cleveland over to first for the second out of the inning as another run does score. As Ava Christensen will sacrifice in a run. And that brings up the top of the order. And Davey, the catcher. First pitch is a ball. 1 0 with two down. That ball's hit over to Madigan Wallen. And over to first for a nice play by Wallen, showing how good she can be out in the field. But in the inning, two runs on one hit. At the end of one and a half, it's Vermilion 2, Tri Valley 2. We'll be back for the second, bottom of the second after these messages on Vermilion Streaming on YouTube. This is Tanager Softball brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. Are you ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. Todd's Electric, your full service electrical contracting company. Todd's Electric services residential, commercial, agricultural, and industrial customers. From the simplest service call to the most complex design build project, Todd's Electric has the expertise to do it right. Call Todd's Electric for all your electrical needs. Todd's Electric helping you control all things electric. Except for lightning. Todd's Electric. Go Tanagers. First pitch to mount is fouled off here in the bottom half of the second. 0-1 is the count. On deck is Mackenzie Richardson. Swing.
Swing and a miss. Strike two. 0 oh and 2. Ball's fouled back. Count remains 0 and 2 to Mount. Vermillion scored two runs on three hits in the first inning. Could have been more, but unfortunately, uh, Moser got caught off of third on a nice throw from the catcher. Here's the 0-2 pitch to Mount. That's outside, 1-2. and two. Here's the 1-2 pitch. That's fouled straight up. Catcher tries to get underneath, and that will hit the ground. Count remains one and two. That's laced foul down the third baseline. Pitch in for a ball, evens the count at two and two. As the Sun's making its way out, which is making a huge difference. So here's the two two pitch. That's laced into left field. Will she camp underneath and she makes a nice catch out in left field for the first out of the inning. Brings up designated player Mackenzie Richardson, number 14. So Mount got a hold of that one just uh, just to the wrong spot. Good fielder out there in left field. She's made a couple of nice catches now. First pitch to Richardson is high. 1-0. Oh. Oh, that is outside and high. 2-0. Two and zero, one down here in the bottom half of the second. So oh, swing and a miss by Richardson. Two and one. That ball had some nice movement on it. Had uh, Richardson fooled. Here's the two one pitch. That's in for a strike. He was the count at two and two. And Taylor Barda on deck. That is low. Full count, three and two. That ball's hit down to short. Fielded nicely there. Throw over to first is in time. Bobbled briefly, but then fielded cleanly for the second out of the inning. That brings up right fielder Taylor Barda. On deck is the top of the order and Kristen Moser. Barta's been really successful this season bunting and takes that first pitch for a ball. Her speed lends it lends to that being a real weapon for her. And these pitches have been low and outside, 2-0. and oh, Nothing that she could uh, offer at. Here's the 2-0 pitch. And a little high and outside, 3-0. So Barta, 3-0, looking to get on. And once you get that speed on the base pass, anything can happen. Here's the 3-0 pitch. That's in for a strike, 3-1. Here's the 3 1 pitch. Ooh, hunted foul. 3 and 2. Hey, now you gotta be good. Let's go. Hey, one more is. Here we go. And. 
strike was uh, dropped, but uh, ooh, they do just get it down to first. So a uh, strikeout and a throw out. So in the inning, no runs, no hits, no errors. A 1-2-3 inning at the end of two. We're tied at two. Vermillion and Tri-Valley will be back with more here on Vermillion Streaming on YouTube. And this is Tanager Softball brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. We'll be right back. Last week, a guy walked into the UPS store in Vermilion. He did not notice the copiers, the printers, the mailboxes, the banners, the posters, not even the business and shipping supplies. It was like he had blinders on. Hi, this is Jay with the UPS store in Vermilion. Many people don't see everything we have to offer when they stop by the UPS store to ship their packages. They miss all the things we have, like printing, designing. We even offer notary services here at the UPS store, located on Cherry Street in Vermilion. Back here at Lions Park for the top half of the third inning. Vermillion and Tri-Valley tied at two. <laughs> Leading off this inning, second baseman Sienna Bird. First pitch fouled off, own one. So again, this Tandiger team will be in action Monday morning, 9 o'clock. We'll have it for you. That ball's laced down the third baseline over to Chandler. Chandler over to Baylor for the first out of the inning. Some nice infield fielding for Vermillion so far. You have to feel pretty good about that if you're Coach uh, Budmeyer. So that'll bring up shortstop Jones. Emery Jones struck out her last time up but did reach on a passed ball. So first pitch to Jones is a ball, 1-0. That ball's fouled off, count goes to 1-1. One one. That ball is low, two and one. That ball is ooh, hit just fouled on the third baseline. Evens the count at two and two. On deck is Wilt, the center fielder, grounded short to third her last time up. So Halverson in the circle. Here's the windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Dropped third strike though, but down to first for the second out of the inning. That'll bring up center fielder Wilt with two down. Nobody on here in the top half of the third. Again, Wilt ground out to short her first time up. First pitch to Wilt is a strike. 0-1-1. Right so again, Tanager uh, Vermilion High School Hall of Fame banquet tomorrow night. Uh, Chandler Cleveland will be one of the speakers. That ball is grounded fouled on the third baseline. Makes it 0-2 along with Connor Rorick and Coach John Brooks of the state champion Vermilion Tanager girls basketball team as they honor some greats, including Vince Roach. Had a chance to talk with him the other day. That ball's lifted into left field. Coming in and not able to make the catch is Mount. So that'll be a single for Wilt. That was just one of those hit it where they ain't type of thing. We Willie Keeler. So that is the second hit for this Tri-Valley team. And the first pitch to the pitcher, Davey, is a ball 1-0. That ball's hit right to Bailey Baylor. 
And that is uh, just a put out, just a straight put out at first. So no runs, one hit, no errors at the end of two and a half. Vermilion two. Tri Valley two will be back after these messages on Vermilion streaming on YouTube. This is Tanager Softball brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. In a situation like this, the first thing you do, of course, is make sure everybody's okay. And then you're thinking, you better call your insurance person. Mm, no, just call Justin. At Vermilion Auto Works, you see Justin handles all the insurance claims and gives free quotes. Not everybody does the free quote thing anymore, you know. So call Justin at Vermilion Auto Works. He'll take care of the situation. Carrying WeatherTech, Rough Country, and Truxedo. Vermilion Auto Works. And welcome back to Tanager Softball from Lions Park in Vermilion, South Dakota. I'm Michael Schumacher as we are heading into the bottom half of the third inning. Batting this inning for Vermilion will be the top of the order with Kristen Moser, Janaea Cleveland, and Chandler Cleveland. First pitch to Moser is a ball. Moser walked, made it around to third, and then was picked off of third in a play reminiscent of the 1987 American League Championship Series against Detroit, Darrell Evans. That's fouled off. Count goes to one and one. Diehard Twins fans know exactly what I'm talking about. Gaetti laying the tag on the throw from Laudner. Oh. That ball's lifted into shallow right field, and that will be fair. Moser rounds first. She's heading to second, and there won't be a play. Will she go to third? Will she? No. Nope, she will stay at second. But that is a double for Moser. Again, just like in the top half this inning, just hit it where they ain't. That was as close to being foul as possible. The right fielder didn't have a shot at it. Just, I mean, there was just no way. And so Janaea Cleveland comes up with a runner on second. She singled her last time up. That ball is inside. 1-0. And again, with the wind, kind of plays plays some games with the ball when it's in the air. We saw that Monday. Ooh. Here's the windup and the pitch, and that is outside. Does get past the catcher, and Moser, with her speed, will make it down to third. So the count is 2-0 and on Jenea. Now runners at third, nobody down here in the bottom half of the third inning. So 2-0 count. Chandler Cleveland on deck. Here's the windup from Davey. Swing and a miss. Strike one, two and one. You know, you have a feeling Moser's probably going to play it extra safe down on third this time around. Here's the two one pitch from Davey to Jenea. That's a little high. Three and one. Three one pitch. Swing and a miss. Full count on Janaea Cleveland. Again, she singled. Ended up scoring her last time up. That's lifted foul behind the plate. Count remains three and two. Cleveland steps into the box. And that was just a little high. Again, runners at the corner. We've had this before. For Chandler Cleveland. Chandler doubled her last time up. Driving in her sister. Chandler eventually came around to score. So runners at first and second. Nobody out here in the bottom half of the third inning. Vermillion trying to get something going. And that's a little high, and Janaea Cleveland will make it down to second. No throw, as uh, Moser would have then scored. So, smart play by the catcher. Count is 1-0 and on Chandler Cleveland. On deck, Maya Halverson, who also doubled her last time up. That ball is in for a strike. Paints the corners. So, 1-1. One and one. Here's the 1-1 one, 
one pitch. Oh. Got the wind picked up. She stepped off. Back in. Here we go. That's a little high. Two and one. Runners remain at first or second and third. So two and one. Nobody down. Here in the bottom half of the third. Chandler Cleveland up. Maya Halverson on deck. That ball's lifted high into shallow right field. No, dropped by the second baseman. And Janea Cleveland will stay at second. Here's the throw to home. And Janea will then make it advance to third. And Chandler will advance to second. So Chandler with a single reaches second on the throws. Dr drove in a run. Actually, that was... Sorry, no, I forgot that would be an error. No, even if it's the wind, still an error. Uh, but runners now at second and third. Still nobody down. And a run across for Vermillion. So 1-0. Oh. That makes it 2-0. and oh. On Maya Halverson. <laughs> so again, Vermillion leads three to two. Nobody down here in the bottom half of the third. Counts two and zero oh on Maya Halverson. Runners on second and third. That ball's lifted foul. Makes a count two and one. One pitch fouled straight back, evens the count at two and two. So that is a full count, three and two. On Halverson again, Madigan Wallen on deck. That's in for strike three. So the first out of the inning will bring up Madigan Wallen. Wallen's made a couple of nice plays at short. Looking to add and contribute offensively here. Here's the windup in the pitch. That first pitch is high, 1-0. On deck, Bailey Baylor. Nice Foul straight back, one and one. Swing and a miss, strike two. Wallen did strike out swinging her last time up. Let's go, Mads. One more, Is. You got it, kid. Here's the pitch. That is low, two and two. There's a throw down to third and... Janae was in safely, so two and two. One down. Wallen would just love to get something to the outfield. Should score a run if she does. Ball's lifted foul over by the concession stand. Count remains two and two. Good turnout from Tri Valley here for their crowd. Here's the 2 2 pitch, two on, one down here in the bottom half of the third inning. That is outside, full count. Second straight full count for Isabel Davey, the pitcher for Tri Valley. Again, Wallen looking to uh, 
contribute offensively, been doing some great defense today. That's laced down the third base line. That will score at least one. And here comes Chandler Cleveland. She will run, score as well. Throw to second. Not in time. So that is a double. Two RBI double for Madigan Wallen. Makes the score five to two in favor of Vermillion. With one down, now a runner on second for Bailey Baylor. Baylor flew out to center field last time on a nice hit. That pitch is in for a strike, 0-1. On deck is Sienna Mount, who also had a nice uh, rip at it, but the caught out in the outfield. Here's the 0-1 pitch. That is inside, 1-1 one one to Baylor. Swing and a miss, strike two, one and two. Ball is lifted into center field. Camping underneath is the center fielder, and Wallen will try to advance, and she will make it down to third. So that is the second out of the inning. Now with a runner on third and two down, brings up Sienna Mount. Get her in, CC. On deck, Mackenzie Richardson. Ah, ooh, laced on the third baseline. Just foul, 0-1. Again, Mount, Mount getting uh, some pretty good whacks at it. Pretty good hacks at the uh, the ball. We'll see if she can get one out here and score another run for this Tanger team, leading 5-2 to two in the bottom half of the third. Two down, runner on third. Ooh, swing and a miss, 0-2. Probably one she didn't want to swing at there, but count is 0-2, two down. Madigan Wall, uh, yeah, Madigan Wallen on third. That is high, one and two. The wind is picking up here, getting a little bit cooler. See if that sun will come back out here at some point. Ooh, swing and a miss by Mount, strikes out swinging. But in the inning. Three runs on two hits. There was one error at the end of three. Vermilion leads five to two. We'll be back after these messages on Vermilion streaming on YouTube. This is Tanager Softball brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. And I'm Michael Schumacher, the voice of the Tanagers. If you're looking for the perfect fit, Vermilion Vision Care Associates fits like the right pair of glasses. Vision Care Associates has its roots in family eye care and the doctors are well known for being primary eye care providers. With the ability to treat and diagnose a variety of settings, Vermilion Vision Care Associates is the right fit for you. Plus, they can fit you into a new pair of glasses, sunglasses, or contacts that feel just right. With continuing education, see the best doctors at Vermilion Vision Care Associates. to the community that supports us. That's why our employees make it a priority to volunteer their time and talents to make a difference. Whether it's improving local causes, fighting hunger, or supporting our local zoo, our team is dedicated to making a positive impact in the lives of those around us. We're more than just a financial institution. We're a part of the community, working together to make it a better place for everyone. Your community, your credit union. Voyage Federal Credit Union. Welcome back to Lions Park in Vermilion, South Dakota, where the Tanagers, after three innings, lead 5-2 to two over Tri-Valley. Yeah. Batting this inning for Tri-Valley will be Regan Pearson, and the first pitch to Pearson is inside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Pearson will be followed by Keegan Kukta and Emery Pearson. Yeah. Was lifted high, and that will get into right field, fielded there by Barta. The throw in will keep it to a single. <laughs> so 
So that brings up Keegan Cookta, who uh, doubled her last time up, had an RBI driving in Davey, followed by Emery Pearson. So one on. Nobody out here in the top half of the fourth inning. As Coach Budmeyer comes out. Oh, and Chandler Cleveland will be coming in to pitch. So while Chandler warms up, we will take a timeout here on Vermilion Streaming on YouTube. This is Tanager Softball brought to you by First Dakota National Bank, where the Vermilion Tanagers lead 5-2 to two in the top half of the fourth inning. Your invitation to thrive in Yankton, South Dakota. Nestled on the bluffs of the Missouri River, plenty of outdoor adventures are waiting. Whether you work remote or in a traditional office, we have a spot for you. Quality health care, diverse manufacturing, progressive school system, Mount Marty University, and so much more. Explore with family and friends. Let's thrive together. Welcome back. So Chandler Cleveland has moved into pitcher. Uh, Kristen, Mo Kristen Moser has moved from second to third, and Maya Halverson has gone from pitcher to second. Halverson fields it, and she gets it to second just in time. So that'll be a fielder's choice. Cookta will be at first. And the first out of the inning. Got a way to stick with it, Maya. So that brings up first baseman Emery Pearson, who walked her first time up. That was in the second inning. Followed by Ava Christensen. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Own one. Inside. One and one. So one ball, one strike, one out, one on here in the top half of the fourth inning. That ball's laced down to Moser at third, and there is a, not going to be any play. So now runners at first and second, with one down here in the top half of the fourth. That brings up left fielder Ava Christensen. That pitch is high. 1 0. That's in for a strike. 1 and 1. So again, one ball, one strike, one out. Now runners at first and second here for the Tri Valley Mustangs. Apple's head over to Wall Wall <laughs> Madigan Wallen. Cripes, I couldn't get out. Wallen. Uh, she goes to third to get the lead runner. So now with runners at first and second and two down, that brings up the top of the order. And Davey, Davey will follow that off. Good start, Chandler. So Cadence Davy, 0 1 pitch. That is high, 1 and 1. Fouled straight back, 1 and 2. So one ball, two strikes, two out. Two on here in the top half of the fourth inning. Here's the windup, and that is high outside. Moves the count to two and two. Stop, Maddie. Ball is lifted into shallow outfield, and Cleveland cannot get to it. That'll score one run. 
And runners will stay at first and second on the single by Davey. As that brings up Sienna Bird with runners on first and second, with score five to three. Your way, Moshe. Grounded over to Halverson, Halverson over to Baylor, and that will be it. But in the inning, one run, one uh, two hits, one error at the end of three and a half innings. It's Vermilion five. Dry Valley three. We'll be back with more after this on Vermilion streaming on YouTube. This is Tanger Softball brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. If you want somebody to come into your home and fix everything right the first time, look professional, act professional, treat you with respect, you got to call Kaylin. When they come in, I feel that they want to be there. I feel that they want to help me. You know, they put on the little booties over their shoes. They had canvas from the garage door all the way down to walk on. They left the furnace room in the basement probably cleaner than it was when they came in. They just do customer service very well. I would recommend Kalins to anyone. Game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in South Dakota. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the SDHSAA. Welcome back to Lions Park in Vermilion, South Dakota, where the Tanagers, after in the bottom, as we head into the bottom half of the fourth inning lead, five to three. Leading off this inning is Mackenzie Richardson. First pitch to Richardson is high. And Isabel Davey is still the pitcher of record for Tri-Valley. So 1-0 is the count. Swing and a miss makes it 1-1. One one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. 1-2. One and two. <coughs> Again, if you're looking for something to do tonight and you're in the Lesterville area, Lesterville Athletic Association having a fundraiser to raise lights for their baseball field. Swing and a miss. Strike three on Richardson. One up, one down. That brings up right fielder Taylor Barda. Barda did strike out last time up, but it was a great at-bat. Went to a full count. We'll see if she can get on base and get to the top of the order where Kristen Moser's been having some success, Jenea and Chandler. First pitch, bunted down the third baseline, and she is going to make it to first. Boy, they're going to say she turned in on the first baseline. So it's a single, and then picked off. Coach Bud Meyer is going to come talk to the uh, umpire. Coach Bud Meyer really didn't think that she turned in. I, I guess I didn't see her turn in, but... Uh, so two down. Nobody on now for the top of the order and Kristen Moser. And maybe turned in, I don't know, looking back at the where the ball was, but I, don't, it, I didn't think she advanced towards second. I think there was a big difference between that, but official disagreed. So here's Moser in the top of the order. First pitch in for a strike, 0-1-1. That's lifted high into left field. Will anyone camp underneath? And they do. 
So that is a one, two, three inning as the shortstop is able to get over there. No runs, one hit, no errors at the end of four innings. Vermillion leads five to three. We'll be back with the fifth inning after these messages on Vermillion streaming on YouTube. This is Tanager Softball brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. Wanting a specialist without leaving town? We've got you covered. Our clinic offers specialists for the health and wellness of your family. From pediatricians to OBGYNs, plus primary care. You can find it all at Vermilion Medical Clinic. So much care, so close to home. Safe means you're sort of protecting yourself. <laughs> My mom and dad told me how to be safe. It's like super duper important. Hold a grown up's hands. Put a helmet on because you might hurt your head super duper bad. Protect their future by protecting yours with your local State Farm agent, Dick Sunday. All right, as we head into the fifth inning, Vermillion leads 5-3, to three, batting this inning for Tri-Valley. Emery Jones. And then Wilt, the center fielder, and Izzy Davey, the pitcher. First pitch is in for a strike. Owen one. That one's lifted into the outfield deep. And that is a home run for Emery Jones. Makes the score five to four. That'll bring up center fielder. Reese Wilt. Reese Wilt coming up. And then Izzy Davey and Reagan Pearson. Here's the first pitch to Wilt. That's lifted just out of the reach of Bailey Baylor. Own one. Right back to Chandler. Chandler over to Baylor for the first out of the inning. 1-3 put up, brings up pitcher Izzy Davey. So now with one down, nobody on. On deck, designated player Reagan Pearson. That pitch is outside, 1-0. That's also back to Chandler. Fielded there, over to Baylor. 1-3 again. So that's two in a row over to Chandler. So two down. First pitch in first strike to Reagan Pearson. Own one. That's lifted just over the head of Madigan Wall and into the grass. That will be a single for Reagan Pearson. Brings up Keegan Kukta. Kukta doubled in the second, reached on a fielder's choice in the fourth. First pitch to Kukta is laced out to right field. And they're making it, making a run for the third, and no, and the runner will advance to second on the throw. So that is a single for Kukta, reaches second on the throw to third. So now runners at second and third. For first baseman, Emery Pearson. First pitch is lifted high. Halverson over there will field it, and that will be it. In the, in the inning, 
One run on three hits. No errors at the end of four and a half. Vermillion leads, but now it's 5-4. We'll be back for the bottom half of the fifth inning. After these messages on Vermillion streaming on YouTube, and you're listening to Tanager Softball brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. Ready Mix and Equipment is your locally owned and operated Ready Mix company. The Oshkosh front discharge mixers allow for easy placement of concrete, and with the six wheel drive and low range transfer case, they're nearly unstoppable. More of a do it yourself fan? Midwest Ready Mix and Equipment is teaming up with Clark's Reynolds in Yankton, bringing you a wide range of hand tools, mini excavators, skid steers, aerial lift equipment, and more to get the job done. Choose Midwest Ready Mix and Equipment for all your concrete needs in Clark's Reynolds, your rental equipment headquarters. Back at Lions Park for in Vermilion, South Dakota, the Tanagers taking on Tri Valley Mustangs. As we head into the bottom half of the fifth, batting up the batting this inning for Vermilion will be Janea Cleveland, Chandler Cleveland, and Maya Halverson. First pitch to Janea is a ball. One and zero. Ball's hit down the third baseline, fielded there, and she is going to be, wow, okay, um, called out at first. Called out at first, brings up Chandler Cleveland, then pitcher Maya Halverson. Here's the windup, and that ball is in the dirt. One and zero. That pitch is lifted into center field, camping underneath, and caught there for the second out of the inning. So two up, two down here in the bottom half of the fifth with Vermillion leading five to four. That'll bring up pitcher, uh, now second baseman, Maya Halverson. That pitch is hit into the middle and that'll go into center field. That'll be a single for Halverson. Brings up shortstop Madigan Wallen. Wallen doubled her last time up, drove in two. She'd love to get another double here. Here's the windup and the pitch. Fouled straight back. 0 oh 1. On deck is first baseman Bailey Baylor. Halverson at first, two down. Here's the windup and the pitch. That's high and inside. One and one. One one pitch to Wallen. That is fouled off down the third baseline. Makes the count one and two. Again, we're in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Vermillion leads five to four. It's been a close matchup all the way through. So here's the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. No runs, one hit, no errors. At the end of five, Vermillion five. Dry Valley 4. We'll be back after these messages on Vermilion Streaming on YouTube. This is Tanager Softball brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. 
Vermillion Olson, owner of Blaine's Body Shop in Vermillion. I grew up here, graduated here, and now have a business here. I'm proud to serve the community that has helped me live this dream. I have top-notch equipment, the latest in training, along with the worth ethic and the desire to serve you. Should you need repairs in the future, please remember Blaine's Body Shop across from Polaris on the Highway 50 Bypass in Vermillion. Blaine's Body Shop. Automotive Collision Repair. Now online at blainsbodyshop.com. Need a new set of tires? Look to Carlson's Body Shop in Beersford. How about some accessories like WeatherTech floor mats, access roll-up truck covers, bed liners, remote car starters, and thousands of other products? Hey, you can look at everything at your convenience online, too, at carlsonsbodyshop.com. No wonder the song says... Bring it down to Carlson's Body Shop. All right, Ava Christensen at bat. Ball one, strike one, one and one here in the top half of the sixth inning. Vermillion leads five to four. Chandler Cleveland at in the circle, not on the mound, in the circle. That is ball two, two and one. Christensen sacrificed in the second. Reached on a fielder's choice in the fourth. Next count, three and one. On deck is the top of the order with Davy and Bird. That's in for a strike, three and two. Full count to the first batter of the inning. Swing and a miss for strike three. Chandler Cleveland gets her innings started off strong with one up, one down. Brings up the top of the order and Cadence Davey, the catcher. First pitch fouled back into the umpire. Own one. As the umpire walks it off a little bit. So again, batting now, Katie, Cadence Davey, followed by Sienna Bird, facing Cl Chandler Cleveland. That one's fouled straight back. 0-2 here in the top half of the sixth inning. Nice pitch, Chandler. Again, Vermillion will be in battle, in, in action again, Monday morning at 9 o'clock, facing Canton at the DAC-12 tournament. At pitch inside, 1 and 2. Lifted foul and out of play. Count remains 1 and 2. That's fouled off down the uh, first baseline, out of play. Count remains one and two. One ball, two strikes, one out. That is a ball, two and two, evens the count. Again, we are in the top half of the sixth inning. Vermillion leads five to four here at Lions Park. Chandler Cleveland on the mound. Maya Halverson started. Pitched the first three innings and then a faced a batter. That ball is fouled back. Count remains two and two. Then Chandler came in from third. Halverson moved to second and Moser over to third. 
That pitch. Oh, called strike three. Hmm. The Tri Valley fans seem to disagree, and boy, I'm, I, I'm. If I were a Vermilion fan that were called on us, I'd probably say that too. Uh, Might have seemed a little bit out of the zone, but two up, two down on two strikeouts here in the top half of the sixth inning. That brings up second baseman Sienna Bird. That's lifted high into the outfield. And that is caught out there by Jenea Cleveland. So that is three up, three down for Chandler Cleveland. No runs, no hits, no errors at the end of five and a half. Vermilion leads five to four. You're listening to Tanner's Softball. Brought to you by First Dakota National Bank on Vermilion Streaming on YouTube. I'm Michael Schumacher, and we'll be back after these messages. Clay County Abstract and Title Company has a complex job that boils down to something very simple. Helping you purchase your dream with confidence. When investing in a new home, a new site for your business, or piece of property, you want peace of mind that the property is truly yours. Clay County Abstract and Title Company has been doing just that since 1946. Clay County Abstract and Title Company, proud supporters of Vermilion Activities and proud to be a part of your dreams come true. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new home for your family, you want to sell your existing home, or you're a student looking to rent an apartment, Dakota Realty and Property Management can fit your needs. Being locally owned and with over 150 years of combined experience, they are the experts at helping you find your new home. Go to Dakota Realty and Property Management because they like what they do. Dakota Realty is a proud supporter of Vermilion Athletics. Dakota Realty and Property Management, located at 125 East Cherry Street, Vermilion. Welcome back to Lions Park here in the bottom half of the sixth. Bailey Baylor up, pops one high, camping underneath is the catcher who pushes the umpire. <laughs> Umpire's having a bit of a day already. So that is a one up, one down. That brings up left fielder Sienna Mount. So Mount flew out to left field and then struck out. First pitch to Mount is a strike, 0-1. Vermillion would love to get an insurance run here. Heading into the seventh inning. So one up, one down. Swing and a miss by Mount, 0-2. Here's the 0-2 pitch. That is out of the zone, one and two. On deck is Mackenzie Richardson. That ball's hit between third and short, and Mount is gonna be safe at first. As she beats out the throw, that is a single, infield single for Mount. Brings up designated player Mackenzie Richardson. That is Vermillion's eighth hit of the game. So here's the pitch to Richardson. One on, one down. Pass lifted. Too short, caught over there, and Mount stays at first. So two down. Brings up right fielder Taylor Bardo with two down. Taylor leg got a single her last time up. The umpire said she turned in. Seemed to be some disagreement, but that pitch is a ball one and zero. Mount has pretty good speed at first. And that pitch is in for a strike, one and one. And if Barda, if Barda can get on, brings up Kristen Moser, who has walked and doubled and then flew out to short. That ball, run it down to third base. Here's a throw over to first, and she's gonna be safe at first. Runners at first and second on a single by Taylor Barda gets Sienna Mount over to second. So now with two down and two on, that brings up Kristen Moser, followed by Jenea Cleveland and Chandler Cleveland. 
If Moser can get on thing, you feel like good things might start happening here. Come on, Moser. <laughs> Swing and a miss by Kristen Moser. 0-1. I guess she's trying to take it home, as somebody said. Go, Chris. 0 1. Runners on first and second in Barta and Mount. Here's the 0 1 pitch. In the dirt. Count room moves to 1 and 1. Swing and a miss. A mighty hack by Moser. 1 and 2. She can get a hold of that. She's going to do some damage. But again, count reigns one and two. Runners on first and second, two down here in the bottom half of the sixth. Vermillion looking to get an insurance run. That's inside. Oh, no, she dropped it on the tag. So runners now at second and third. As count is two and two on Moser. Vermillion has to count themselves lucky there. So here's the 2-2 pitch with two down, two on. That is a called strike three. So in the inning, no runs, two hits, no errors. At the end of six, it's Vermillion five. Tri-Valley four. We'll be back for the seventh inning after these messages on Vermillion streaming on YouTube. I'm Michael Schumacher, and this is Tanager Softball, brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. Being the first bank in South Dakota was the easy part, earning the confidence of local farmers, helping families account for their dreams, and securing the future for countless businesses took us a little longer. We owe it to the hard workers, big dreamers, and forward thinkers out there. Thank you for making South Dakota a great place to call home. Digital Solutions started small, but now we're growing as FDS provides live streaming coverage for over 20 schools across three different states on our Fuller Digital Solutions YouTube channel. Subscribe to get notified when we go live for your school events. Big events are captured live, and your business can get noticed with advertising during our live streams. Local talent and camera operators are encouraged to contact us, too. For future employment, no experience necessary, we will train. For information about advertising or working with Fuller Digital Solutions, email us and follow us on Facebook. Welcome back to Lions Park in Vermilion, South Dakota, where we are in the top of the seventh inning. First pitch to Emery Jones is a ball, 1-0. and oh. Vermilion leads 5-4 to four in what's been a great matchup so far. That pitch is lifted high and foul, out of play, 1-1. One and one. Balls lifted high and out of play. Moves the count to one and two. That ball's lifted into left field. Oh, Mouth unable to come up with it. And that ball will roll to the fence. She robs second. She's going to third. And she'll be stopped at third. So Jones on third. Brings up Reese Wilt, the center fielder, who has grounded to short, singled, and grounded back to the pitcher. First pitch lifted into right center field. Nice play by Taylor Barna! And a goal! And a nice throw to third! Wow! 
She might not have caught many, but she caught that one. <laughs> that was a beautiful play. Wow. The runner on third assumed that was going to be a hit halfway down. Otherwise, probably could have tagged up. But the assumption that that was going to drop. And Barda, wow. First pitch fouled off. 0-1 now with one down here in the top half of the seventh inning. Half balls again. Lifted into right center field. Barda going back. Unable to reach that one at the fence. 1-1 one, one will score to tie it up on a double. So it's now 5-5. Five to five. That brings up Regan Pearson with one down. Runner on second. First pitch to Pearson is a strike. 0-1. Hey, you get two more. Here we go, Regan. Only takes one, Regan. Watch it on the way. Here we go, Regan. You can do it. All right, let's go. Second pitch is a strike. 0-2. Oh, That's grounded just past Chandler Cleveland into center field, and that will score another run. Tri-Valley has taken their first lead of the game. On a single by Regan Pearson, they now lead 6-5. to five. First pitch to Cook is a strike. Own one. Owen two. Again, one down. Runner on first. They have scored two runs in this inning. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So runner advances. You cannot run down to first when there's a base occupied. So two down. Runner on second. First pitch in for a strike. Come on, Chandler. On Emery Pearson, 0 and 1. In Vermilion Trails, six to five now. That pitch, a ball, one and one. Pitch is fouled back, one and two. That's strike three. In the inning though, two runs on three hits. No errors at the end of six and a half. It is Tri-Valley six, Vermilion five. We'll be back with the game deciding bottom seventh inning after these messages on Vermilion streaming on YouTube. Interior technicians. I'm ready for my big roll, Jerry. What do you mean? You said I'd be in your next 30 commercials. Uh, no. I said Intech has over 30 years of commercial cleaning experience. You know, like offices, so they can ensure happy visitors and a healthy workforce. So the shoot's in an office? I can make that work. Oh my goodness. When you need it clean, call the Intech team.
Welcome back. Bottom of the seventh inning. First pitch is a strike. Second pitch to Janaea Cleveland is outside. One and one. Vermillion needs one run to keep the game going. Two runs to win. That pitch is inside. Low and inside. One and one. Two and one, I'm sorry. Well, need base runners to now. Ball three, three and one. That ball's laced into right field. And that is fair. That will make it to the fence. Cleveland around first. Cleveland around second. Cleveland heading to third. And Cleveland will stop there. Janaea Cleveland with a leadoff triple here in the bottom half of the seventh inning. And that will bring up Chandler Cleveland. Chandler, the pitcher of record, looking to, uh, look, looking to help herself out here. Chandler has a double. Reached on an error and flew out to center field. Here's the first pitch to Chandler. A little high, 1-0. On deck, second baseman Maya Halverson. That pitch is in for a strike. One and one. Two and one. Oh, laced on the third baseline, but foul. Two and two. Chandler was looking to get it all back there. Two and two. Nobody down here in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Well, if Chandler can straighten that out or get that in between center and left, that thing will score Jenea. So here's the 2-2 pitch. Wind up. Fouled off into the net. Count remains 2-2. Two and two. So 2-2 two, two pitch. Janae Cleveland on third. Fouled off. Count remains. Two and two. Chandler just uh, fighting off pitches that don't work for her. And that's one thing that these girls are really good at, is fighting off those pitches that uh, just aren't quite there for them. That one's lifted high to second. Caught there. Cleveland back. Janae back to uh, second base. So that is the first out of the inning. So one down here. And that will bring up Maya Halverson. Come on, Maya. Here's the first pitch to Halverson. Lifted high and foul, 0-1. On deck is shortstop Madigan Wallen. Lifted high into the outfield. That is back 
And that hits the fence. No, it's over the fence. That's a home run. That's a home run. Home run, Maya Halverson. As the ball goes off the glove. Game winning home run for Maya Halverson. And the Tanagers walk it off in walk. In beautiful fashion with a home run by Maya Halverson in what has just been a great, great game. Tri-Valley showed themselves really well, but that was a, an awesome hit by Maya Halverson to uh, end this game in walk-off fashion. Wow. So Vermillion walks away with a win, a 7-6 victory for the Tanagers as they get ready for the DAC-12 conference tournament on Monday. Monday morning they will be playing Canton. So I will be back. We'll see if Coach uh, Bud Meyer is able to make it over. If not, no worries, no harm, no foul. But if he is, cool. Because that was an amazing game. We'll be back after these messages on Vermillion Streaming on YouTube. I'm Michael Schumacher, and this is Tanager Softball, brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. Knutson Family Dentistry in Vermillion, they strive to provide the highest quality patient-centered dental care in a friendly, relaxing atmosphere. Knutson Family Dentistry works hard to provide the best cosmetic, general, and emergency dental treatment in the area. With over 50 years of combined dental experience, the latest dental technology, and a professional and compassionate staff, they're your top choice for dental care. Call for an appointment at 605-857-8008. Knutson Family Dentistry of Vermillion. the weight when your furnace and AC needs repair by joining Larry's Heating and Cooling Comfort Care and Elite Care Club. Larry's Comfort Care Club features seasonal maintenance discounts on service and no overtime charges. Larry's Elite Club includes seasonal maintenance, free parts, free labor, free service calls, and both mean you are in front of the line for service. Call Larry's Heating and Cooling and sign up for the Comfort Care or Elite Care Club. Larry's Heating and Cooling, Yankton and Vermillion. You are self-motivated, accountable, and eager to learn new skills. We'd love to talk to you about a rock star career. Masaba in Vermilion is hiring full and part-time manufacturing positions for the rock industry. Masaba provides comprehensive training in a clean, safe, and state-of-the-art facility. Masaba offers competitive wages, a fun and interesting work environment and culture. Join our team of rock stars. Visit masabainc.com to learn more. Maytag appreciates a compliment, but this Maytag washer isn't just eye candy. Wow. Inside, it's got the capacity and power to handle even the mightiest loads. I love this. Yeah, she's a beaut. It's a he. How do you know? Don't worry about it. Find Maytag products and the industry's best appliances at your local dealer. Murph's Appliance, downtown Vermilion. Your crew is craving Pizza Ranch. It's easy to order online at PizzaRanch.com. Online ordering makes it fast and easy to order craveable crispy ranch chicken or build your favorite pizza exactly how you like it. And now for even more convenience, place your favorite order with just one tap. So when you're craving pizza or the country's best chicken, go to PizzaRanch.com and start your order. For craveable food and convenient online ordering, there's so much to love at Pizza Ranch. Welcome back to Tanager Softball, brought to you by First Dakota National Bank on Vermilion Streaming. We're here at Lions Park in Vermilion, South Dakota, where the Tanagers have just won a thriller on a walk-off home run by Maya Halverson. Maya Halverson with Jenea Cleveland on third, and one down. Uh, came up with a huge hit uh, to the outfield, and uh, we have Coach Bud Meyer here to actually talk about it. So we're going to give him a headset here, and we'll turn him on. Well, Coach, doesn't get much more exciting than that, does it? That's what high school sports is all about. Um, holy cow, kudos to the girls. I mean, the conditions weren't great today. This wind um, probably actually helped carry that walk-off home run a little bit more, but they got one earlier, so we'll even the playing field with that. Um, 
What a great game for our girls. Um, that's a huge that's a huge program building win right there to be battle adversity, to give up a lead in the top of the seventh and to come right back and take the lead right back. That is huge. That is big time. So proud of these girls. Um, like I've talked before, our mantra is to always just go out and compete. And our girls kept competing every single inning. Even a few few things didn't go our way. We missed a play here. Uh, didn't quite get a call. We thought maybe at first, but we didn't care. We didn't care. We kept playing hard, kept competing. And when you do that, good things will happen. Well, that's exactly right. There were there were a couple of calls at first. Uh, the one with Kaylee, where I thought it just I thought she turned still on the baseline to look where the ball was. I I didn't think she turned and made any move, move, movement towards second. That was my opinion. Uh, and then then the close one with Jenea at first. I I I didn't say anything. I thought she was safe, but uh, you know I always wait for the call. Uh, so those are two that uh, you know a lesser team would allow that to get them get them down. Uh, but like you said, giving up the lead like that. Uh, but there boy there was a couple of plays out there as well. Uh, Taylor Barda making that play out in right field was just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. That's a change we kind of made. She us- we usually have her in third, um, but we like what she's been doing in practice, and she's just a phenomenal athlete. And I would go out and say with with Sienna, Jenea, Taylor, we might have the fastest outfield in the conference, and that just showed her sheer sheer speed to run that ball down was phenomenal. And then just Taylor's just got to go be an athlete. So I always tell her, go be an athlete, and you'll figure it out. And for her to get that catch was huge. Um, that got us an out. Unfortunately, they didn't take. But the next one they take, but then we already had an out from that. So that, that's a huge swing in there. And then always, if you give up a lead late, you always want to keep it to one. It, but, Once you get down two, then it, that's you're tough sailing. You ex- exactly. Keep it, keep it at one, which Chandler stepped up huge. Um, she pitched really well today. But all credit to Tri-Valley. That's a heck of a team. And once again, another good conference opponent. Um, it's a really good team. They hit the crap out of the ball today. They put the ball in play. Uh, we did a great job of making plays. So, like, they put the ball in play. We made plays. Uh, huge shout-out to Madigan at short today. She had a lot of big, crucial moments, a lot of big plays. Top to bottom, holy cow, what a great team win. Everybody found a place in the game to step up and do their part to get this win. Well, that's exactly right. You know, you talk about Madison at short, did a really nice job, uh, a couple of great plays. You know, Maya had a nice play at, at, at second where she she might, uh, one person might say, oh, if she had fielded it, but she stuck with it, got that lead runner, and that made all the difference in that inning. Uh, you know, and uh, Chandler at third, a nice steady presence. Uh, and to have, again, have Maya be able to start and then Chandler come in and, and play in some, just some good hard hitting from, uh, from your team as well. How, you're now five and one. How do you feel heading into the Dakota 12 conference uh, tournament where, and what's your mindset? Because it, it's tough. You're going to play at nine. And then if you beat Canton, you play at 11. And if you beat T, then you play at one. <laughs> How how do you manage your pitching? How do you manage your team in a format like that? Our job's to beat Canton. That's what that's our that's our mindset. That's what we're going in saying. Uh, we played them once. We got we got them the first time. Uh, but with high school sports, what I've learned in my young career is you have absolutely no idea what what's going to happen at any given time with the game. So our job and our focus is to go get Canton, and then we'll see what happens after that. He's a really good team. The beauty of the what. I'm so happy and I'm so excited about this tournament. If you look at the standings, literally the top six teams in our conference tournament, the top team team, top six teams in the class. And then you go right below them. I think every one of us besides Canton and Sioux Falls Christian are all top 12 teams in our conference. So we're in, our, in, a, in A. So that's going to be high quality softball. Um, we're just going to go out and compete like we always do and see where the chips fall where they may. Well, that's all you can do, and the girls are looking good. And like you said, this is a program. It's great to get the win, but it's almost more heartening to see that they didn't lose heart yes. during this game. I mean, I think uh, so much value, and I think a lot of that comes. You have some really good senior leadership, girls from that championship basketball team that know how to lead, and that includes the Cleveland sisters, and that includes Taylor, and I mean, and it includes Bailey, and uh, you and know, Maya. and Maya. You know, just. So much leadership there. And then, you know, Madigan, just a great leader out there. But everyone, like you said, everyone at some point stepped up today. They found, we found a way to win. That's what we always tell the girls. Um, 
100 ways to win a softball game, you just got to find one. And if a walk-off in the bottom of the seventh is the way we're going to find it, well, that's your fun. It, well, it is. It, you know, it makes it great. It Honestly, that's one of those things that uh, can keep you flying high through, through Monday, too. Yep, absolutely. Just kind of... Hop on the train because it's rolling. All right. Well, Coach, thank you so much for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to being up in Sioux Falls on Monday morning. And uh, hopefully you guys can keep me up there all day so I don't have to uh, come back to work. And that's the plan. All right. Thanks so much. You have yourself a great day. All right. That was Coach Louis Budmeyer here with the uh, Vermilion Tangers as they have a walk-off win on the bat of Maya Halverson uh, in the bottom of the seventh inning. Just Awesome. Uh, just a great game for this Tanger girls team. And so that's going to do it for me. Again, just a reminder, uh, Lesterville tonight, Lesterville Athletic Association having their stag night. Uh, broasted pork, I believe, uh, is the dinner. And then they have the Chase the Ace drawing at 9, so buy a ticket. The funds that they're being raised are going to their lighting projects and field improvements for their baseball field. The pot is up to almost $15,000. It'll obviously be more after that when they draw tonight. They've already drawn about half of the cards, maybe not quite half. So if you can make it out there, get yourself a chance at a nice little, uh, nice little bit of pocket change. I will be heading there from here, so hopefully we can see you there. And then tomorrow, otherwise if you're listening or watching in Sioux Falls, here in about 18 minutes, the Calling All Coyotes starts at the Sioux Falls Convention Center. Uh, that's a fundraiser for Coyote Scholarships. Then tomorrow night, or tomorrow in the afternoon, the USD Coyote Spring Game at the Dakota Dome. I will be there, hopefully, knocking on wood if I had wood around here. And then tomorrow night, the Vermilion High School Hall of Fame Banquet featuring the 1998 uh, volleyball team, uh, Greg Erickson and Vince Roach, and a Coyote, uh, a Tanager supporter who we... I believe we'll be getting surprised tomorrow. So hopefully you can make it out for that. I plan on being there as well. I might not be emceeing it, but I will be attending it. I will be paying my way in. You don't have to uh, you don't have to give me a free meal to get me there. All right. Love covering these tanagers. I love being there. The speakers tomorrow night will be John, uh, in addition to the nominees or the inductees, John Brooks will be speaking, Chandler Cleveland, and Connor Rorig. So for myself, I'm going to say... Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Tanagers win 7-6. to six. We'll be back with some Tanager action on Monday from the Dakota 12 Conference Tournament in Sioux Falls. All right, you guys have a great night.